Hey everybody, I've got a how-to video today, um, so really just bear with me because I don't ever do these. <laughs> um, I always show you end products, but I'm going to try to do a how-to video today. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I actually discovered this on Pinterest, so unfortunately, yes, I am one of those people who is now completely and utterly addicted to Pinterest, but um, there were these beautiful um, ribbon flowers and um, this was one of the very this is the very first one I made and then I've slowly been practicing it a little better um, so I did want to show you kind of what I have learned if I'm sneezing or anything I'm so sorry it is like 80 degrees here in California and my allergies are like driving me crazy my nose is like super just itchy all I've been doing all day is sneezing and scratching my nose so um, but I do want to show you how I made these flowers so um, I'm going to continue make another gold because I did run out of the red ribbon and you can use I'm using sheer ribbon but honestly you can use um, any kind of ribbon that you think that you want to use so um, but you do want thick ribbon at least um, quarter uh, one and a quarter inches so um, and you're going to need if you do do the thick ribbon you're gonna need about 24 inches two feet and you do want it to be wired so it does have to be a wire edged ribbon so um, just when I start off I have my Tim Holtz scissors here and just pick a side any side um, it doesn't matter and you're going to freehand scallops onto it now one thing I learned as you can see these are um, very large scallops and because I made the scallops so large, they happened to curl along them. So I did have to cut slits into my scallops to open up the flower a little bit. But if you do smaller scallops like I did here, you don't have to do that. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. If you do want the larger, then of course you can. You just have to cut slits into the scallops once you adhere it. But if you don't, then you get something more like this where you don't have to do the slits. So um, I'm just going to freehand. And this is two inch wide ribbon, so I'm going to try to cut it down to a quarter inch. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that's fine. You know, even your scallops are fine. You can save the scraps after. Um, I was trying to think what I can use my scraps for. So I haven't really been saving them. But that's okay. And this ribbon, I at Walgreens 50% off so because since I discovered Pinterest that's what I've been doing and I've just been going on Pinterest so I'm ridiculously obsessed so if you'd like to follow me I will post a link down for my Pinterest so okay Alright, so I got my scalloped edge. So what I do is I pick an end and I pull it and I just bend the wire. So I just bend it like that. Okay, and that just kind of saves your spot. And then on the other end, you just kind of start pushing. And you just want to hold it and then you want to pull down and just push down the ribbon on the wire. This is why you need a wire edged ribbon. Okay, um, you can do it as tight or as loose as you want it. The tighter you do it, the smaller flower you're going to get. Um, the looser you do it, the bigger flower. Now, um, unfortunately, I do not have a one and a half inch circle punch. So I'm doing this off a one inch circle punch. Um, so you can do it any size you want, just depending on the center you plan on adding. Um, you have to remember that. So if you see something like this, I can probably do a... Um, one and a half inch circle punch because it will cover that center because you see I add a, a circle in the back um, but if you're doing something small um, like this then the one inch would be perfect because that will cover it up a little bit but if you are doing something larger like this which maybe I might do that um, 
No, I don't have a one inch, one and a half inch circle punch. So I'm just going to do the one inch. So um, don't cut off the excess wire. And you're just going to start kind of just going to loosen it up just because I don't want it to be too, too tight. And like I said, this really varies on you. And then you can kind of pre-wind it. See how it's going to turn out. Okay. And you're going to start with the glue gun. Now, um, on Pinterest, this is where I got this from. This is off somebody's blog. I don't know exactly how she attached it, but this is how I kind of figured out how to attach it. So let's see if I can do this on camera because last night it was hit and miss basically. So you know how that goes. So I'm going to start by putting a little bit of hot glue. And if you do have something to protect your fingers, please use it. I do not. But like I cook, if I don't burn myself, I'm not doing a good job. That's what I always say, which is really funny. So I'm just starting to coil it around. And um, you just kind of go and you adhere it as much as you can. So um, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to go more along the edge, that's fine as well. And just add a little more glue. Told you I've never done this, so I will be burning myself. <laughs> I don't normally do how to videos, I usually do this is what I made videos, and this is totally not. I think I should have done my um, scallops a little deeper, so I'm probably gonna have to cut the edges or cut slits in, but that's all right. It'd still be a unique flower. And I just add a little bit and keep winding. A little bit. And I'm looking at my camera for some reason. I had to figure it out because it's still a brand new camera. Um, how I can do longer videos because for some reason it only allows me to do 10 minute videos. So just kind of keep adding the hot glue, just going over the top. Ooh, ah, see, I just touched a really hot glue there. But that's okay, like I said. So this is going to be actually a very tight. See, I didn't do my scallops right on this, but that's okay. Because even if you cut slits into the... <sighs> Tips it again. <laughs> okay. Taking my scissors, and now I'm going to cut off the excess wire. You can save that, you can toss it away. And then, because I, I did it too tight or um, I didn't do my scallops right. This is what I mean. See, um, it's all curled up like this, and all I do is cut into where I put the scallops to open it up. And that's fine, like I said. Um, I got lucky a couple times last night. I think I just need to make the scallops a little deeper, more rounded at the top, not so shallow. So just where I, um, the indent of the scallops. Okay guys, I have no idea where the video recording stopped. Um, like I said, my camera doesn't let me um, record more than nine minutes for some reason. And I will figure that out one day. But what I did right now, um, I finished gluing it. I cut off the excess wire, just in case um, you didn't see that. And I made it a little tight. 
So because I made it a little tight, I'm cutting slits into my scallops to open up the flower a little bit more. So um, you can cut as deep as you want, but I think what we have to do, the one I lucked out with, um, these two actually came out really well. Um, actually no, this one came out really well, is you really have to round your scallop a lot, quite a bit actually. and. Um, I think too because I made this one I cut 12 inch strips so I did two 12 inch strips and then separately glued them so I did one 12 inch strip and then I did the other 12 inch strip so you can try that as well but I mean this looks gorgeous just as well and then I love the the gold edging on that so um, see this is why I don't do how to videos because I don't do it perfect but that's okay because um, when I add that button to the center or even this one oh, look that works too but um, I think I'm gonna do the pearl but I didn't make the center tight enough so my buttons gonna go right in the middle but because I do have that gold edging on the wired ribbon it's gonna look fine I'm not even gonna worry about it so what I do is I add a little hot glue to the center of the button I don't cut off the back of the button and then I'm going to add a little hot glue right inside to help the sides stick. And there you have it. So um, just like I said, a couple of tips. Um, make sure whatever center you use it can get hidden by whatever size um, circle punch you use I wish I had a one and a half inch I'm thinking next time Michaels has 50% off coupons I will go buy a one and a half inch punch because I do not have one I have an inch and two inches but I would love to have a one and a half inch and um, just like I said you need 12 inches or not 12 24 inches of ribbon um, I was lucky enough and I did this in um, two 12 inch pieces so if you want to do something a little bigger and then um, if it's a little tight like this one was which is fine um, just cut slits into it and it'll open it up or if you like that um, closed effect so I have been making these from Pinterest and um, even though I made the this one I didn't wind it tight enough it still looks pretty because of the edging that I have on my wire ribbon all right, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. I'm not very good at this, so but I will try to do more how-to tutorials. All right, bye, guys.